Um, there is uh, <laughs> there is one more person who was in our class. You may have seen her walking around during the show, and um, she's here. She wants to come up. She wants to talk to you guys very quick. Should I let her? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, you said yes. Oh, you said that. So, um, she also, I mean, she did take yoga during our class sometimes. So, she would be in our class and then she would go across to do yoga in the middle of the stand-up class. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but let's hear what she has to say. Let's get her up here. Mary, come on. Lovely, and thank you all for coming. It's just such a pleasure to be here. And Michael, I just need to get one bloody thing straight. In class, he actually said that I became a therapist to figure myself out. Do you recall that? You did. You implied it at least. Actually, the truth, quite honestly, I went to Montesisi Academy to be a bloody nun. Now the girls, they were not interested in being a nun at all. And for some strange reason, I ended up doing a lot of advice and counseling and giving. And the girl that I was close friends with ended up with a married man, pregnant, and put x lax in the brownies on the bus. <laughs> now, if I could do well with that, I figured I might as bloody well get paid for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Now, Lynn talked to you about a mule. I'm going to up her one and talk to you about a donkey. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a pastor, and he has a donkey. He answers the donkey in a race, and the donkey wins. The news line the next day read, Pastor's ass out front. <laughs> now, the bishop... He didn't laugh like you all did. And he calls up the pastor, and he says... Don't enter that donkey in any more races. So the next day the news line read, Bishop scratches pastor's ass. <laughs> well, the bishop was a bit livid, perturbed, if you will. And he says, you know what? Get rid of that donkey altogether. The pastor gives it to a nun in a nearby convent. Can you imagine that, Michelle? <laughs> so then the news line read, none has best ass in town. <laughs> well, the bishop, he bloody well fainted over that one. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know, and by the way, I've got some CBD oil in my purse for that panic attack. It works quite beautifully. And I happen to be a bloody metaphysicist as well. And I'll tell you, for a Catholic girl, that's as close as I get to smoking marijuana. <laughs> Back to the joke. And it is a bloody well joke. I said it to the Kiwanis Club, and when I mentioned that the back at the end that the bishop died, they act like I was serious, and it was really quite dreadful, but they were a little more comical than this group here. But getting back to the joke, what was the punchline? You bloody well remember. Hey, make a new one. I really don't quite recall. Does anybody remember? Al, do you remember? All I remember is that the the bishop tells the nun to take the donkey to a nearby nearby village and sell it even for ten dollars to get rid of it so then it says nun sells ass for ten dollars The bishop was buried the next day. <laughs> <laughs> now, Larry, we talked about the hats, yeah. and you wondered if I was serious. I am, so my number 
It's lastingweightloss.net. And all of those free gifts, I'm just a Sicilian. In Sicily, we're called Locasto, and we give a lot of gifts. And just to tell you, and then I'll end, right? Because you're going to cut me or get one of those bongs. And uh, Christmas time, and in Switzerland, the lint candy. It's just remarkable. Anybody try lint? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, for Christmas, you know those little little boxes you get for a dollar at Publix? I gave my neighbors one, and they didn't know who it was because it's supposed to be a surprise. Do you know someone bloody well fucking complain? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I, I said that word. Virgin Mary's going to be crying. That's <laughs> Okay. Brilliant. Who's the bravest guy in the room? This guy. Oh, yeah. You are. I'm just glad to see that one of her personalities is funny. Uh, <laughs> the other one is forgetful. Okay. Good job, Mary. Let her hear it. Let her hear it. Let her, let, let's hear it for all the comics you saw tonight. I was very impressed. I was very glad. You're done. You're done. Get off the stage. <laughs> Who do you have to sleep with around here to get a bloody drink? I ordered an H2O on the rocks with three lemon twists for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and I've never bloody one. All right. Thank God. Good, good, good. Okay, so, thank you know, this job, this job as a teacher and a comedian, this class, I will say, and we have one more class. Um, you don't have to go if you don't want to, but uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But uh, the best thing about this class is it's almost over. But um, <laughs> it has used all my skills and all my powers as a comedian, yeah. as a human being, and as a therapist, which uh, I actually am a therapist. Um, well, I used to be. I got tired of all that crying, and then sometimes they would cry. 